Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This is a working prototype. Yes. So not everything is finished, but it is working. So could you go ahead and give us a walkthrough? Yeah, what you're looking at here is the, is the lock screen. Timing out. The lock screen shows me the, the time and the date, my, uh, my next meeting location, how many mails I've got. So without even unlocking the phone, I've got a bunch of useful information. As I do, I'm brought to the start screen. And the start screen on Windows Phone 7 series shows me a whole bunch of information that's kind of personalized and customized to me. At a glance, I have these live tiles. And as you can see, the tiles themselves uh, elevate and display information um, based on uh, the content that's behind them. So whether it's uh, the people that I care about, the email messages I'm getting, uh, or things like my Xbox Live Gamer account, um, I can get the combination of, of an icon that links me to an application or a website, um, and things, uh, the best parts of a, of a widget that kind of service live information. So these, uh, these tiles are customizable and I can kind of move them around uh, on, the, on the start screen um, or I can get rid of them altogether and decide uh, what I want to show, the things that I care most about right there on the start screen. So one of the things that people uh, uh, want to access on their phones is, is the people they care about. So if I click the people tile, brings me right into this hub and the people hub shows me uh, a whole bunch of different views of, of all of the people that I care about whether that's the recent contacts that I've had um, uh, or all of the contacts in my phone so I can go ahead and scroll through and uh, I can find a particular person or if I, I need to skip to the uh, end of the alphabet I go ahead and uh, click on the W's and there's William right there um, I can go ahead and uh, uh, call him right from there now if I want to go back at any point, I don't have to go all the way back up to the top. I just hit the back button and it brings me right back to the last screen I, I, uh, I was viewing. And of course that's uh, nested so I can keep doing that. So it'll take you back to the app previous? Exactly. The app, the hub, the last thing that I was doing on my Windows phone uh, or the last series of things, I can go through them one at a time. I was in Bing, uh, I was looking at that profile. Uh, I was looking at music, and if any time I want to go back to that start screen, I hit the Windows key right there, and the start button brings me back uh, right to the start screen. Now go ahead and, and jump into the Xbox Live. This, yeah, the, This is connected to your account, but it's a completely different set of games. It is. These are games that are designed to, uh, to run on my phone. So the Windows, the, the Xbox games, or the games in general, they don't have to be Xbox games, uh, but the Games Hub shows me um, all of the games that are on my phone and uh, things like all of the, uh, the Xbox Live information, uh, including the Spotlight and my, uh, my gamer tag and all of the things that I care about uh, on that network. There's, I think, 23 million uh, people now on, on Xbox Live. Windows Phone 7 series brings that, uh, that onto your phone. And folks know that the gaming, uh, gaming experience and games on phones are, are a really hot area right now. And this uh, brings the world's leading online gaming service uh, to your phone. And then games will be available in your marketplace? Games will be available in our marketplace. Uh, and, and you'll have the ability ultimately to, uh, uh, to add these in and incorporate them in with the rest of your, uh, your Xbox Live stuff here. Will you be able to get achievements with games on the uh, mobile Xbox Live? The platform will support that. Right. Um, uh, that's one of the things that, uh, uh, that is enabled by Windows Phone 7 series. Photos are all, also obviously something that uh, is, people really care about. Um, and in the same way that the Games Hub aggregates not just your Xbox games, but other games that you've downloaded, uh, uh, the, the Pictures Hub here brings together um, photos that are, I took on my phone or that I downloaded from my PC or that live on my web or, in fact, that, that live in my friends' uh, Facebook accounts that they want to share with me. So it really brings together all of this content right um, at my disposal in a way uh, that's meaningful to me so I can check up on what's new with my friends and dive right into their pictures too. So if they've connected say a Flickr account and you've uh, indicated that you've got a relationship with them, would that then pull into this particular hub? Uh, we don't ha yet have uh, Flickr integration except through uh, our, our Windows Live aggregation of that so uh, at this point we'll do Facebook and Windows Live uh, and any of the aggregation that you inherit by, uh, by virtue of Windows Live. Okay, so Windows Live is basically the connection point for your social media services right okay just trying to get the uh, <laughs> trying to get the uh, understanding down absolutely and and facebook is uh facebook is, is is native here as well okay 
Um, one of the other buttons you, you'll notice here is, uh, is the start button. So we talked about the back button, the start button, and then the search button is the third one. Every Windows phone will have a search button, which will, will go ahead and, uh, and, and load uh, Bing. So we'll go ahead and be able to search. Will that be the photo of the day in the background? Uh, yes. Okay. It will show the photo of the day right on the, on the client there. Um, we've even got a nice little uh, uh, <laughs> emoticon. Key, emoticon keyboard here. That, that's uh, pretty neat. That uh, you can search on. That, that's really more handy for, uh, for text messaging and, sure. and stuff, obviously. Not but, sure uh, how many Bing results will be you know, showing up for the uh, different yeah, smileys. Yeah, we could, we could search uh, all the different characters and, and see what smileys come up. So then what's the value of, let's say, using this Bing client? I mean, what can it do uh, that's somewhat different from the way we've experienced Bing uh, or really any old mobile service on a mobile device? Yeah, what's nice about Bing on my, on my Windows phone uh, is that it, it shows me results not just for the web, uh, but also local results. So, for example, if I search for, for sushi, uh, and as I think, Chris, I mentioned to you before, the build I have here was... Uh, localized for for Barcelona, the Mobile World Congress build. But if I search if, if I search for sushi, um, and then provided my my data uh, is working right here, we may or may not got something. We but may I, have to use our imagination. We may have to use our imagination. Sure. But I'll talk you through. If I'm searching for su sushi on a mobile phone, I'm probably uh, looking for the nearest sushi restaurant. Um, I may also be looking for news about sushi if there was a you know outbreak of something and I want to avoid a certain type of sushi. I may also be interested in the history of sushi or want to know the definition of the different kinds of sushi. The local content, the web content, uh, and that news content is all brought together here and I can choose uh, which one I'm looking for and this really brings that together in a nice way. So it's like a search hub. It's like a search hub, exactly. Okay. Okay. There we go. So I search for sushi, and it showed me, uh, again, I mentioned this was, with this one is hardwired. We're, pretend we're in Barcelona okay. still. Um, Not a problem. And I, will, uh, I can go through and look at the, at the, at the local su sushi restaurants, including the maps to the nearest one. I can also see what's, what's in, the, in the news around sushi, or I could uh, you know, search the web and, and, of course, go to the, uh, I'm sure, uh, very rich content on sushi on, on Wikipedia. Now, so then this would launch the browser and go ahead and bring up the sushi web page on Wikipedia. And one of the nice things here is you see, of course, we have, uh, we have nice um, capacitive touch screen so I can pan, but I can also do multi-touch and pinch zoom right in here. I can go ahead and uh, you know, double click uh, to bring that to, uh, to the screen size. One of the nice things too is I can say that's something that I'm going to want to have uh, to look for again, and I can go ahead and pin that uh, right to my start screen. So I'll go ahead and... Uh, and pin that sushi page. And in fact, the image that I was looking at in the browser is what will the icon, that live tile, will show up on mm -hmm. my start page. So as I go then back to here, oh, I didn't actually pin didn't, it. I didn't it actually would, pin it. Had I pinned it, you right, would see it, it at would the be bottom, there. right? <laughs> um, I see so the, that's also a quick look at the browser. Is the calendar? Um, yeah, the calendar is the calendar's working on this device. This is one of the nice things that we've seen. We really focused on. Uh, I think you've seen throughout what I've shown you is a smart design is, is, is getting rid of the clutter and having the content really shine through. And so in the calendar view, you can see that as well. I, I have a quick view at, uh, I can go ahead and bring up the whole month and say, let's see what's going on on the 26th. It'll bring, it'll bring that right up and I can scroll through and there's not a lot of superfluous visual information. There's just the content that I really care about. I want to go ahead and uh, bring up that anniversary dinner at the Coho Winery, figure out that, click on Coho Winery. Uh, and it'll bring up the map right again within Bing. So there's a there's a linking between uh, that content and the search capability that I have on the phone. Go go back for a second. Again. Now you can scroll between the different uh, words at the top, the day agenda. Yeah. So I can go hey say you know give me agenda view, which would then you know show me a little bit about each one of the meetings and and give me. A little sentence, and I can scroll through those, and then I'll actually go into the next day. I believe, yeah, here we go. We went past midnight. Now we're looking at tomorrow. Um, or as we saw, I could look at just what does my day look like. Okay, I see. I got some time at 10 o'clock there. Looks like I'm I'm tentatively double booked there at 11, um, and scroll back and forth between those. Now go back to the. I guess it would be the start screen. You've got uh, at the very bottom, uh, I guess a Zoom conduit. Yeah, this is the uh, the music and video experience in so Windows Phone. This is basically the Zune. 
It looks very much uh, like <laughs> Zoom, doesn't it? Yes. yes. That is not a coincidence. Ni nice uh, language <laughs> there, <of> wording. <laughs> I, I think... Um, you, uh, you can neither confirm nor deny, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty Zoom. clear. It's right. Zoom. We have, we have I've got my Zoom. You know, I can go ahead and look at, at, at my music. I've got podcasts in the same way that, you know, I've got FM radio, mm -hmm. uh, much like the Zoom. Now, for, for the hardware, this is obviously just a, a prototype working. Yeah. Uh, but uh, with each manufacturer then using this platform, are, are there going to be baseline specs? So is everyone going to have an FM transmitter, an accelerometer, uh, GPS, et cetera? There are uh, m we're providing much more guidance, and there is a there is a list of of specific hardware components and minimum specifications that we'll require. That's one of the changes you, you see a, a dramatic change. This is a different kind of phone than you've seen from us and from anybody. It's really designed for people that are uh, they want to bring this together. I don't think about my friends as apps. I think about uh, people, and I want to bring them all together. So we're we're, we're promising a user experience here that's going to be very, very compelling, very fluid. Um, it's going to aggregate all this content on your behalf. So that requires a set of hardware uh, that is, is capable and that we want to have a, 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 a good idea of, of what the minimum requirements are. So we'll have a lot more guidance than we have historically. This also means things like the, the display resolutions, the number of different display resolutions that ISVs will have to target uh, is, is much, much less than it was in previous, um, previous versions. Will there be a minimum DPI? Um, there will be a minimum DPI that is kind of inherent in the in the display resolutions that will that will prescribe. Which okay. is, um, is the experience then uh, optimized for a screen that's roughly this size? Uh, yes. Okay. But it'll, it'll support it'll support different screen dimensions, but the resolutions are will be per, will be prescriptive on the resolutions. Okay. Um, so as I scroll through the People Hub here, you'll see um, it aggregates not just my recent contacts, but all of them. Uh, and I can also see what's new in the social networking networks of my friends and the, the people that I want to stay in touch with, so I can really keep up to date on, uh, on what they're doing. Can you reply to somebody? I can reply to somebody, so I can go ahead and, and, uh, and, and click on John's comment about buying a new truck. Uh, and it says right here I can touch to add comment, and I'll say, cool. Uh, can't wait. And uh, just to clarify for people who are watching, this interface isn't quite finished. It hasn't been fully optimized. This is just a working prototype. Correct. And we're expecting this to be found in devices holidays 2010. Correct. Couldn't have said it better myself. Right. But there's there's no cl clarification on what which holidays. It could be the Thanksgiving holidays. I think I think what we be... said is 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 if you uh, talk to folks in the retail space, the holidays uh, before which people buy lots of gifts yes, for each other. Of course. So, right? Around That's... my birthday, which is in the <laughs> there you go. No, middle of summer, so that it wouldn't count. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm dreaming. <laughs> my birthday is, uh, is the fifth of July, so that's a holiday that we're not quite going to be ready for. No. But, uh... So you see that we've 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 tried to build a really smart design that that surfaces this information, that aggregates things on your behalf, that kind of automatically personalizes this phone. Uh, after I use a Windows phone for a few days, my phone will inherently look different from your phone because the interface is derived from the content and the people and the music and the games and the applications and the websites that I care about and customize. So it's not just a row of icons um, that I, I decide which is more, more important by pushing it to the left. I say, look, here's, here's the stuff. I, I want to I um, have my pictures right here, and I want to have pictures of my kids. Those aren't actually my kids, but if they sure. were, it would be right, right there uh, on the home screen. Status well. updates, uh, my emails, my, my contact information, the people I want to follow, their, their Facebook updates. Um, and you've got your applications lift, list off to the right? I've got my applications list off to the right because folks know that there's more on your phone than, than necessarily you want to always have pinned to your start screen. But there's, uh, you know, maybe there's some applications that you use less frequently. You want to go into PowerPoint, there it is. Now, how will uh, the App Store, if I can use that? We as call a it phrase, a marketplace. Okay, how will the marketplace then be managed by Microsoft or not by Microsoft? Uh, it'll be managed in much in the same way it is today. ISVs will uh, submit applications for uh, to to the marketplace, um, and then if they if they meet the well established and published criteria, they'll be uh, they'll be posted and, and users will be able to download them, and we'll have a. Uh, a similar arrangement for settling those transactions that we do with ISVs today. Okay. It'll be built into every Windows phone. 
then how would the transactions take place? Uh, like, would it be handled through, say, um, Xbox uh, points in terms of credits? Uh, for no, no, we don't. Uh, we don't have plans to, to um, use the point system for uh, for the marketplace uh, and for Windows Phone. The um, uh, the transaction will be ha handled similar to, to how it's done today on Marketplace. Which is? Uh, which is through a credit card. Okay. Will that credit card information then be stored in the phone and encrypted, or would a user have to pull out a credit card every time they wanted to get an app through the Marketplace? You don't have to. The way it's done today, it'll be done similarly. We, we, there, you associate a credit card with your Windows Live ID. We use Live ID okay. authentication. Um, to associate that device with with your account, uh, and then you get to choose, and you can choose each time how yeah how exactly how you want to uh, do that, yeah. or you can just have it be the default. So anything different in the Outlook or I guess mobile mail experience? Yeah, it's it it looks a lot different. We bring great Exchange support, um, but you see this this notion of a clean, smart design uh, carries through into the into the mail client as well. I can look at all my mail. I can go ahead and say, hey, just show me the unread ones. Uh, show me just the urgent mail. I can scroll through those. I can bring up a mail and, uh, and it'll display that to me. Um, I, I can then uh, um, uh, highlight things and, and go right into uh, uh, you know HTML mail and see it, it, it represented and rendered really nicely. Um, so again, that kind of clean design, that smart design uh, brought through all the way into the mail client. And you see a consistency uh, in kind of the design language and the theme across the whole device. Very nice. Thanks for your time and uh, your, your prowess. My pleasure, Chris. Good to see you. You've been playing with this long enough. Yeah, it's exciting to be able to talk about it now. <laughs> Anything uh, that you're announcing today in particular uh, beyond the announcement that you made at Mobile World Congress? Uh, no, nothing today. We're going to have folks come uh, to our mix uh, event and uh, developers and get really into the uh, into the guts on the app platform and the development stuff. So we'll, we look forward to sharing a whole bunch more at Mix. And and you'll support Flash, or is that a, something to be shared at Mix? That is something to be determined later.